In our previous video, we learned how to find the least square solutions to linear systems of the form a times x equals b. In this video, we're going to take what we've learned and apply it to finding linear regressions. So the goal of this video is the following. Given a set of data points x1, y1 through xn, yn, we want to find the equation of the line that best fits the data points. Let's look at the following picture. So here we have our xy plane and a set of data points. What we want to do is construct a line that best fits this data. So the line might look something like this. Now for each of the x values in our data set, we have a corresponding point on our line, like so. The distance between the data points and their corresponding point on the line is called the residual. So when we say that we want a line that best fits our data, what we want to do is minimize these residuals. Specifically, if we want a least squares regression line, we want to minimize the sum of the squares of the residuals. So let's say that our line is defined by y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. So in the best case scenario, we would have no residuals, meaning that our line would go through each of our data points. In such a case, we would have the following equations. For each of our x values, we would want the corresponding y value on the line to equal the actual y value of the data point. So we have the equation beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1, which is the y value on our line at x1, and that should equal the actual y value at x1, which is y1. Similarly, we would have beta 0 plus beta 1 times x2 equals y2. If we continue going, in the end we'll have beta 0 plus beta 1 times xn is equal to yn. If we look carefully, we might notice that this system of equations can be written in matrix form. We would have the matrix 1, x1, 1, x2, and so forth through 1, xn times the vector beta 0, beta 1, and that equals the vector y1, y2, through yn. So in this matrix equation, we call the matrix here x, and it's sometimes called the design matrix. We call the vector beta 0, beta 1, the vector beta, which we sometimes call the parameter vector. And then we call the vector y1 through yn, the vector y, which is sometimes called the observation vector. Since our data points don't typically lie on the line, the system x times beta equals y is usually inconsistent. However, we can find a least square solution that would minimize the sum of the squares of the residuals. So let's take a look at an example. In this example, we want to find the least squares regression line for the data points 0, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, 8, and 4, 9. To do this, I would want to find the least square solution to x times beta equals y, where x is the matrix 1, x1, 1, x2, and so forth through 1, xn. In this problem, we have 1, and then x1 is the x coordinate of our first data point, so that's 0, then 1, second x coordinate, so that's 1, and so forth, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, Four. So that's our design matrix. Our parameter vector beta is beta 0, beta 1, and our observation vector y consists of y1, y2, through yn. In this case, y1 is the y coordinate of our first data point, so I get 2. y2 is the y coordinate of our second data point, so that's 3, and so forth. We have 4, 8, and 9. So that's our observation vector y. So again, to find the least squares regression line, I want to find the least square solution to x times beta equals y. And to do that, I want to solve the normal equations x transpose x times beta equals x transpose y. So that's going to look like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 times x. So that's 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, times beta. So that's beta 0, beta 1, equals x transpose 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, times y. 
So that's 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. When we multiply and simplify, we get 5, 10, 10, 30 times beta 0, beta 1 equals 26, 71. At this point, to find beta, what I can do is row reduce the augmented matrix 5, 10, 26, 10, 30, 71. I won't go through the details, but when you row reduce this, you get 1, 0, 7 fifths, 0, 1, 19 tenths. So this tells me that beta 0 is 7 fifths or 1.4 and beta 1 is 19 tenths or 1.9. Remember that the least squares regression line is defined by y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. So in this case our regression line is y equals 1.4 plus 1.9 times x. Let's look at one more example. In this example we want to find the least squares regression line for the data points 1, 10, 2, 6, and 3, 4. So again, I want to find the least square solution to x times beta equals y. In this case, our x is the matrix 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 3. Our parameter vector beta is beta 0, beta 1. And lastly, our observation vector y is 10, 6, and 4. So to find the least square solution to this, I want to solve the normal equation x transpose x times beta equals x transpose y. This is one way to go about this problem, but I'm going to take an alternate approach. What you might notice about the data set is in the x values I have 1, 2, and 3. Our data is centered around x equals 2. What we can do is shift all of our data points over 2 units. So, Instead of having 1, 10, I'm going to consider the data point negative 1, 10. Instead of 2, 6, I'm going to consider the data point 0, 6. And then instead of 3, 4, it's going to be 1, 4. So let's try to find the least squares regression for this data set instead. So this time, our design matrix X will be 1, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Our parameter vector is still the same, it's still beta 0, beta 1, and our observation vector, again, is still the same. It's going to be 10, 6, 4. Now, with this shift, what you might notice is that my design matrix has columns that are orthogonal. You can check that if you take the dot product of 1, 1, 1 with negative 1, 0, 1, you get 0. So when you want to find the least square solution to x times beta equals y, and I have orthogonal columns for x, then the process is really easy. Let's say that I call the first column of x, x1, and the second column of x, x2. Then we have that beta 0 is equal to the dot product y dot x1 divided by x1 dot x1, and beta 1 is equal to y dot x2 divided by x2 dot x2. Okay, so y dot x1 is going to be 10 times 1 plus 6 times 1 plus 4 times 1 divided by 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, which gives me 20 thirds. Beta 1 is y dot x2, so that's 10 times negative 1 plus 6 times 0 plus 4 times 1 divided by negative 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 1 squared. This gives me negative 6 halves or negative 3. So this tells me that the regression line for my shifted data set is y equals 20 thirds minus 3 times x. Now if I want the regression line for my original data set, then I would need to shift this line back over 2 units to the right. So I would have y equals 20 thirds minus 3 times x minus 2, which is 20 thirds minus 3x plus 6, which is y equals 38 thirds minus 3x. 
So that is the regression line for my original data set. So the takeaway is that sometimes you can make your calculations easier by taking advantage of the symmetry in your data set. If you can somehow shift your data so that you have orthogonal columns for x, then you can find your beta by just taking the projection of y onto the columns of x. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll look at different regression models.